what's something that you miss about America? I was about to say robes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back on it. I miss the robes, okay? Till I die, boy. You can't play with me, boy. Well, you can't play with me because no, no. See, the issue is people think we play. I told him I went from here. I can't get too far. You can leave that video, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Slack it back. <laughs> okay, go, go put a hard R on it. Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. Blacker! <laughs> Serengeti boy. What up, though? I'm Brian. I'm Uncle Les. <laughs> I swear he just does this to me. <laughs> we are here today. We are here today to answer some common questions we get from you guys in the YouTube comment section, which you should all be in. Let us know how your day is. We talk. You know, we can do a real cool rap. After a long day of work, it's hard sitting here. We'll talk to you tomorrow after your long day of work. Shout. Or things that we just heard out in public. Things that y'all want to know, so we might as well just go ahead and talk about it. And if you have any more questions, we will be going live soon. And you can ask us live on the air, I guess. That's what you say on YouTube? On the air? On the line? On the line? On the line? On the web? On the live? We on live, baby. We live, baby. We are going to answer some of your questions today. So uh, we might as well jump on into it, huh? Right it. First of all, we're going to start off a little song. Uh, are we from Gambia? No. Nope. Any blood relations? None at all. Whatsoever. Actually, no, I am not from Gambia. Oh, disclaimer. These two are brothers. So if he's not from Gambia, he's not from Gambia. Facts. And me... I'm also not from Gambia. I'm not, I'm not from Africa. We are all Americans, if it was not clear by our food. Where, where are you from? <laughs> where, where were you born? <laughs> I was born in Dover, Delaware. Were you really? Yeah. <laughs> you were born in Delaware? Yeah, I told you this, that was on. Oh my goodness. Dover, Delaware, the city you never heard of. You sure do have Dover, Delaware energy. Hey man. I don't know what that means, but I take offense to that. <laughs> Dover, Delaware is whack. Well, whack. Y'all from a military family, so y'all moved around a lot. So where were you born? I was also born in Dover, Delaware. Oh, so you went around Air Force Base. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all both came back. Okay. Where all have y'all lived before? Wow. wow. Uh, Ohio. Delaware, Ohio, Oklahoma, Georgia, Atlantis. Alabama. <laughs> I said, okay. I think I said, you said uh, Mississippi, didn't you? This I did live in Mississippi for a little while. Like, that was trash. But actually, you know what? Mississippi was actually pretty, pretty chill. It was dope. Yeah. Not dope, yeah. boy. It was chill. <laughs> it was dope. Country. I love that. Speaking of favorite thing was that they had little muffins that was inside all the gas stations that someone was making. Best part like of Mississippi. Like Mississippi is where the accent comes from. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Speaking of the country, I'm from Thomasville, Georgia. If you're wondering where that is, it's not really a city. No, Thomasville is a Don't city. Don't look it up. Beachton is not a city. That's where his grandma from. We we make do. Shout out to 229, you feel me? Taking over the 229. No. 229 and the 2000s. No, no. <laughs> listen, <laughs> he just, listen, stop. No. He's been there once. Yes, I have. I'm about to stop this. 
He does not represent 229 anymore. He does not shout them out. 229 half the time means I'm broke or I'm violent. You are neither one of those. So no, we do not represent 229. He's been there once. He's been there once. Ain't Clay Code 229 too? No. No. That's in Atlanta. 678, that's Atlanta. Who you talking about? Clayton? Clayton County? I have a question. Ask what? You've been to Thomasville and Steens. I want you to, I want you to remember, Steens, Mississippi. The comparison between Steens and, uh, and, uh, and Thomasville, is there any? Um, they are probably more advanced. We have Steens. a house in Steens? There's the house in Steens. <laughs> Hell, we <laughs> kill him! Wait, wait, wait. Yeah! No, wait, no, wait. I'll be real with you, Steens is somewhere in between Gambia and <laughs> Tom <laughs> I hesitate in asking y'all this question. I want y'all to be truthful, but I want you to be nice. I can't be. Let me not just ask that question. No, let's ask you. Ask you. What is one of the things that you do not like about living in the Gambia? Um, These roads. Y'all, I think I can talk this about is that a direct, for the whole hour. This is a direct message to everybody in Gambia that has anything to do with how money is dispersed in this country, please, 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 just focus on getting the roads built. Just focus on getting the roads worked on. Let's build a better Gambia, for real. What's that, Josh? This is the saddest violin on the planet, and we are simply saying for a dollar a day, you can fix the roads. The video. If you could, just... Stop by the Range Rovers and buy some concrete, some pavement, spread it down with some marmalade. I'm talking about car. New one just hit. I'll spread my wings and I'll learn how to fly. Okay. These roads are so bad, you might just go die in a ditch, pothole, or a cliff. What's something that you miss about America? And I will go ahead and start this off because I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, Waffle House! I was I'm literally gonna say, say breakfast food. Yeah. I was about to say robes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back on it. I miss the robes, okay? I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> Rose ain't here, and I like roads. I didn't realize how much I liked roads until I was riding on back roads 90% of the time. But I miss the roads, the nice smooth pavement. You know when you pour the water on it, it sizzles. You can hear the sizzle of the concrete. I like that. I like everything about roads. Uh, Why did you guys move to Gambia then? Opportunity. Well. I had to be a little bit more blunt. COVID had happened. I just couldn't help but feel like I was the next test subject. <laughs> next test subject. <laughs> test subject. Um, the other thing was that we were about to start a business of, and COVID ruined that. It's true. So literally about, what was like two weeks before we were about to sign a contract to Smooth be- Smooth rise on time. No, after that, the oh. club. Oh, the pull-up. Yep. Two weeks after, two weeks before we signed that contract, uh, Miami got shut down. COVID went crazy, and then the business one didn't work out, and then we were like, okay. We've always been talking about Africa, so then we looked at a big map of Africa, we threw a dart, and it landed on Gambia. That's it. Yep. yep. We all That's history. We was on the ocean. Finally. See, now we are officially West Side, guys. West Coca! Exactly what I was trying to avoid. You can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell nobody nothing. We're officially West Guys. West Side. West Side Guys. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Oh, we're putting this in. I hey, I'm West Side till I die, boy. You can't play with me, boy. Well, you can't play with me because, no, no. See, the issue is people think we're playing. I told them. I went from here. I can't get too far into it. Okay, so you just said, and we told some people this, that yeah, you had a ride share business, you wanted to do a club. How did y'all end up doing a restaurant? I'll keep it all the way 100. It was recommended that we do it. It was something that we wanted to do. 
and we wanted to feature our music at a venue, so it was like, let's make a venue we can play our music at, where it serves food and everything. And Gambia, and how Gambia moves had some different ideas for us when it came to building this restaurant and at what rate we could build what. Mm. So that's when things got a little bit more interesting. But there's some very awesome developments coming soon. So don't think we forgot about the music. The music is coming. Wait and see. How long have uh, you been playing music? Let's be real professionally. Like, when was your first gig when you were that? I was like, first real gig. Yeah, right. First real gig? Like, I got paid? Oh, yeah. Wait, Mine no. was in high school. I was in high school when I got paid. I was, I was in 12th, because that's 2002. I was in 10th grade. Yeah. Oh, wait. My first professional oh, gig. Oh, Actually, well, it's not really professional if you really think about it. It was kind of cute, but you know, the governor's mansion. Oh, the governor's mansion. That's wet! Going to Governor's Mansion in uh, middle school. Yeah, man. We you got paid? Huh? You got paid? I think I did, actually. They paid you guys? I'm not sure. It was like skills? Directly, but I think it was more of like a just under, the, under the table type of thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. My first one was at a hospital. Um, and I was in a in a, a grass quintet. And I toured around Thomasville. It was like a nursery home. So, you know, we were absolutely lit. All your friends were... It was just us. We were, we were the only ones who were... I <laughs> cared. Bank enough to, to care. Well, that's when I started off. And then we ended up at uh, Columbus State Martins. Is that professional? What are you? Did you get paid that game? No. No. <laughs> and so what? You don't want me to get a Waffle House and stuff? Yeah, Waffle House has to be here. I need to have a place to, yeah, there needs to be multiple places to make good pancakes and waffles. Yeah. Like I'm gonna help. Yeah. Oh, that's wow. hilarious. Brothers, we are gonna have two competing breakfast it's restaurants. Kind of small, like, it's kind of funny, because it's kind of like how Dubai was made. It's, that's just the whole family. Just, yeah, that's the family thing I don't want each other. <laughs> so With the same money. Well, that's not fair. If you have Waffle House and he has IHOP, what am I left with? Like Denny's? Denny's? Ew. No, no. Oh, Cracker Barrel. Barrel. Cracker Barrel, yeah. Yeah, but y'all have more. Cracker Barrel. Blacker barrel. <laughs> Blacker the barrel, the sweet of the syrup. Blacker, <laughs> Blacker the barrel, the sweet of the syrup. You can leave that in the video, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blacker barrel. Like, <laughs> okay, don't, don't put a hard R on it. Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. Blacker barrel. <laughs> um, a question that I constantly get asked here. Constantly? Constantly. Okay. Oh, it's a weekly question. Weekly? I get asked it. You don't get asked it every week? You get asked what? what, Les? Oh, here it goes. Weekly. Hi. Hello. You do, you look like a young, strapping young man. Yes, I am. Strapping. Strapping is yes. one of the words they use. You say strap. I stay strapped. Okay. Hi, young man. Uh, life is good. Good to see you. Okay. And they see me and they see how I'm dressed sometimes. They go like, so I bet you're really popular with the girls. And I go like, uh, I do like women. I find myself to be a respectable man in the community. Ah, have you found yourself a Gambian wife yet? I don't know why they ask the question like that. Have you, have you found a Gambian wife yet? Uh, I have not found a Gambian wife yet. Is that the next step of moving here? You have to find a Gambian wife? Um, I will admit, uh, all the YouTube videos that mention the Gambia as one of the best places to find a wife, they are telling the truth. There are a lot of qualities about Gambian women that are amazing for marriage, for having kids. It's a lot of good stuff. So the answer is... Nah. The answer is no. I'm not, not found found no damn wife. No. Not, not me. Not they country folk. Not they opposed to it. No damn wife. Yeah. I'm not opposed to the ideas of damn wife. Yeah. Sometimes we just randomly get attacked by a wild accent. They just jump in the throat. That all being said, I swear, I swear. We are the Serengeti Boys. We have answered some of your questions today. We're glad you guys came by. Oh, sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Grown ass man. <laughs> With that being said, everybody. You should stop. <laughs> Who that. told you to do anything? That's what I said. <laughs> that being said, everybody. We have been the Serengeti Boys. Live from the Gambia. Yup. And if you want us to answer any more of your questions, uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow Twitter. Facebook. Twitter. To let us know when you would like us to go live. When? Because we will. And it, it'll, it'll be any day now. I think we should just do it. Do it soon. Now. We just knock it out. Tomorrow. When we go live. Today. When we go. When we go live. <laughs> make sure you tune in. In five minutes. We on, the only way. Black. 
you can tune in when we go live is if you click that bell, you click. subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe as people do. And then, you know, we'll answer your questions live on air. You can talk to us one. We'll have a nice back and forth. Hey. A nice banter. You yeah. understand? We can talk about musical taste, because, you know, that's kind of how we all met is in music school. Even them two, they didn't get raised in the same house. They met each other like some sister-sister type-ish uh, music school. That was not... Read a book. That was the worst joke Shaky. ever. <laughs> Shaky. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments Blah. below. And your ad are not necessary. <laughs> Let us know what you think. Please, what type of content do you want to know? Yes. Did you learn enough about us or did you want to get a more inside look? We will answer all of your questions. Next time. Next time. I'm not sure what the music sounds like underneath this video yet, but I'm pretty sure it's around this speed.